Morning. My name is Sean Roberts. Uh, I am chief, te chief technologist for, with Lincoln Network. I have with me Jordan Fuchs. Uh, am I pronouncing that correctly, Jordan? Yes. Okay, excellent. I just want to make sure. Um, uh, George is deputy, deputy Secretary of State. Thank you for your time, Jordan, and joining us. Um, I have another question from the, from the perspective of a voter. What should the voter do if the registration system fails? Um, so it, uh, the best example I can think of is, um, and this has happened in a, a couple of different states, um, they have a combination of uh, digital and paper um, in, in the state and sometimes even in the county. And, um, and uh, the, the recent reliance on more digital means uh, means that uh, the, the occasionally, obviously, there's going to be hiccups in the system. And if uh, a voter shows up and there's a, a um, their name's not there, or um, it's perhaps misspelled, or uh, perhaps they're they're registered as absentee and uh, they're they think they're registered to vote in person. What would be the result of such a situation, or the registration just being down, system being down completely if it's digital? Sure. So um, I have a couple of examples of that and how we've addressed it. But the, the very first one is if the system goes down, there are paper backups Excellent. that have been in place for years, long before we ever entered into this office, this, this paper backup existed as a requirement for the counties. So that is a level of reassurance that the voter can rely on. The next thing is um, we're hearing reports, and I, I personally get some messages on Facebook of people saying, hey, my address is entered in improperly in mm. the registration system. How do I correct this? And they're on, this constituent is on a loop of the county can't fix it, the state can't fix it, how do we fix it? And so it's, uh, it's resolved usually through the back end. You just submit a request to us and we correct that address. Excellent. Uh, is there the concept of provisional ballot um, accurate in the state of Georgia? What, what do you mean by that? Oh, a provisional ballot, uh, meaning that uh, a ballot that's not, um, uh, that, that needs to be adjudicated, essentially. Um, uh, oh. So okay. um, if I show up, for instance, uh, in, in some states, um, if there's same day registration, um, this would be an example that um, I'd show up, there's no way to identify who I am, but I say that I live in such and such and within this, uh, this jurisdiction, I want to vote. So in order to allow them to um, uh, make vote selections, um, and then uh, after the fact, verify the person's identity through ju ju the adjudication process, the verification right. process, and then allow the vote to be cast possibly. And so in how 2018, we saw a lot of that where um, there were political candidates who were saying, it doesn't matter where you vote, vote anywhere. And what it was causing <laughs> is a lot of confusion on the ground where people who were not living in that precinct or in that district were going in and voting. Mm -hmm. Now that person would have access to the top end of the ballot where they would qualify for statewide seats, right? So okay. they could vote on those seats, but they could not vote say for that specific house district or Senate district because uh, they did not live there. And so if someone does show up on the day of the election, and to the wrong polling place, they do have the option of pulling a provisional ballot, which is verified. And then um, it's determined whether or not they're in the right precinct. Excellent. So uh, actually you pointed on something and I hadn't considered, um, I, I, I guess my own mistake, but I just assumed that if I voted in the wrong county to, where, uh, to which I, I live or even in the wrong precinct, um, that the adjudication process would discard my ballot at that point because I was voting the wrong place. Uh, but sounds like what you're telling, correct me, please. Um, uh, would they essentially, uh, is it possible you could accept parts of the ballot but not other parts if you're voting in the wrong place? All right, if that person is a registered voter, and this is my understanding of it, um, but if that person is a registered voter in the state of Georgia and they go in and vote wherever for whatever reason, and they vote out of precinct, they still have access to the top end of the ticket, which is the statewide seats, because that's what you qualify to vote on. Uh, but they yeah, wouldn't no, be able sense. to vote. Yeah, you, you don't want residents in Cobb County running over to Fulton County 
and voting for you know, a countywide commissioner. So uh, that's why that rule is in place. Okay, wow, that's really interesting. I, um, that is something that I, I'm interested to explore because my own typical understanding is that uh, uh, at least uh, in other states that they consider the ballot to be one object rather than multiple, you know, the, the state part and the, the county part. Um, so that, that's something to explore, interesting. Um, okay, well, thank you very much. That was very informative. This has been uh, Lincoln Shorts. Um,